You know, I don't even give a fuck no more. I don't care if my hair flies back. I don't care if I look like a freaking hot mess walking. I don't give a fuck if I don't have proper lighting. It is a real channel. I'm gonna be real with you bitches. I can't even see myself right now in the viewfinder, but I don't care. <laughs> my face needs to grace your screen. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Okay, hair down. <laughs> hair front. It's like so muggy and disgusting right now, and I'm wearing all this black shit. Okay, what is. You know, they're putting out the Halloween stuff already. I want to go over here first. What do they have? I don't see anything. Nothing. Nothing cute. Uh, let's see over here. Nope. I don't have any new movies. We've seen a lot of this stuff already. Mm, we've seen that, we've seen that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a lug, but it's orange. Oh, that's not a lug, never mind. Trying to fool me. Mm. This is horrendous. Like, who the hell would carry this? Like, no offense. And I can totally appreciate all bags, but this is an atrocity. Like, I mean, the only place I can consider carrying it is at a wedding. And if you have this at your wedding, then there's something wrong with your head. Just saying. Did that come off as bitchy? <laughs> I did not mean it to be. What's this? It seems kind of like something. I don't know, it's ripped anyway. So never mind. I shouldn't even be buying anything anymore. I mean, I'm leaving in like a couple of days. So, like, why would we want to keep buying stuff, right? <sighs> Sometimes looking at all this atrocious things hurts my head. Is this the long chomp we missed yesterday? Or is this like the fake one that we... Oh yeah, it's a fake one. <laughs> I don't see anything good. I guess we can go look at the bag, uh, the gym bag areas, and see what we find over there. Skylanders, no Lululemon gym bags, no Aritzia gym bags, no lug. This is kind of interesting. For what? I don't know. Okay, what's this? Why is it sitting over here? What are you? You look, you look like leather. You are nothing. You have no label. Hmm. Okay, I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but let's go check out the electronics and see if we see anything there. I mean, I didn't really dig dig, but I mean, I've been here so much last couple days. I know what's in here, you know? Ugh, it's so hot out today. It's like 
buggy and like sticky and like not in like the sexy kind of way more like the I live in the south and I'm obese kind of way um, yeah so like a, a little bit of a weight loss update um I really haven't been focusing on that a lot lately <laughs> I mean sometimes when I get on the treadmill I get kind of like bored and the thing is I'll stay for a long time like I'll stay for like 40 minutes but I won't like sweat a lot so I don't even know if that's productive at all so I don't I don't even know but I still do like the intervals of running, walking, running, walking, running, walking. Um, and I just feel like my stomach has gone bigger. Like, <laughs> like it's not, not pretty. <laughs> it was like super big and then it went down and then got a little bit bigger. It's not as big as it was before, but I mean, I still don't like it at all. Um, but someone keeps telling me that you can't spot, spot lose weight on an area. You have to like lose it everywhere and wherever it, it loses that's where it loses so whatever <laughs> um and like i still want to see my trainer and he's like awesome it's just expensive okay like it's expensive it's like 60 dollars, 50 to 60 dollars depending where we train so it is kind of expensive to do that all the time i mean to do that three times a week then you're freaking spending like 150 dollars a week and that equates to like what 150 a week times four that's like $600 a month. That's like freaking someone's studio apartment rental, you know? So I don't, I don't, it's, it's getting kind of not cost effective. Ugh, thank goodness for air con, air conditioning. Ugh. I really need to do something with my hair because I really don't do anything with my hair anytime, anywhere, any place. And it's just, it just, it just does that, you know, I just air dry it and it just dries. I don't have time to sit there and slut myself up, curling my hair, you know, or straightening my hair, which I don't like straight hair on me anyway, but, ugh. I don't know, but if you, not to sound like, okay, but if there was like a super, super hot Filipino guy, which I've never actually dated or been with a Filipino guy before, but... If there was like a super super hot filipino guy but he had a filipino accent i would get like the biggest hard off in the whole entire world i just don't think that filipino accents are really that sexy i mean we can try but if all i hear is oh yes that feels so good do me now you like this you like this big one no 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 stop get off me or tape your mouth shut. I don't, I, I like British accents, but sometimes it depends on the British accent too. I've heard British accents that were like really British, really British. Kind of like, who, who is that, that celebrity from, from, this, from England? Anyway, if it's that kind of British accent, it's kind of like, eh, you know? But normally I like British accents. On guys, they're so sexy. Like on women too, they sound great. They sound, if you have a British accent, I think that you sound more polished and kind of classy. Uh, but if you're like the hood British, then you get kind of like, you know, ratchet. <laughs> Cause there is hood British. I'm, I'm, I'm copywriting that, <laughs> that term, hood British. I love Irish accents on guys. Oh my God, they're so sexy. Oh, Australian too. Oh, if you have an Australian accent, I don't care. If you're like 500 pounds, look like Shamu, do me now. Asian accents, I'm not a fan of at all in general, actually. Not even just Filipino ones, just Asian accents in general. They don't do it for me. Okay, this mother effer is like riding my ass. Like it's 50 here, I'm going 52. What more do you want from me? I'm having deja vu. I'm like, I hope that Kate Spade Waller is at, is at Play-Doh's, please. Because we went through this already on the other side. Actually, I could have called in and bought it, which I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know. I feel like they recognize me already and they're like, oh, it's that bitch again buying all the shit to sell. Sometimes I feel like that's what they think, honestly. Honestly. Let's be real. They're probably like, we sold it for 40, that bitch is going to flip it for 70. Which could have been in their pocket. They could have just started it at 70. Ah. Ah. Turn. 
let us go. Someone, I forgot who it was, said that I should be in like a thrifting musical. Oh my god, that would be bomb. Broadway, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Broadway ain't ready for Miss Philly. It'd just be called thrift, you know. Thrifter, thrifting, thrift store. <laughs> thrift store featuring Miss Philly. <laughs> It'll be an interlude and then be like, first. I, forgot, I don't even know those how they go. First break or first course or first act one will be I'm thrifting. Kind of like the opening scene to Hairspray. Not the original one, but the remake one from 2006. I won't be surprised if Value uh, Plato's Closet has a sign that says no filming in the store. Because, I mean, not only do I film in the store, and they know I film in the store, and they see my videos, but there's another guy I saw on YouTube, and he's kind of a little bit ratchet, too. He's kind of like, yeah, he's a little ratchet. But he films at that Play-Dohs, too, and he's filmed a lot in that store. And his videos are literally titled, I scammed a Play-Dohs closet or something, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, like, what, if they would do that. Maybe I could just secretly film, you know? Ugh, it's busy. Which means that Kate Spade wallet probably isn't there no more. And that guy from my city has a lot of subscribers. He has like 250,000 subscribers. Like, he's out Miss Philly in Miss Philly. That should be me, okay? I'm just kidding. You know, kudos to him. Poor boy. But he, like, mostly dudes watch him because he does, like, sneakers and, you know, shoes and, like, he does a little bit of flipping, I think. I'm not really 100% sure. I only watch, like, one or two videos. I subscribe to him myself. I mean, I like to subscribe to people who are in my town. But, um, yeah, so, I don't even feel like going inside. <laughs> I feel like literally something is wrong with me today. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I feel, like, off. I'm not sure how, though. How am I off? Maybe I'm lacking nutrients or vitamins, or maybe it's something mental, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna go inside Plato's closet and see if they have the Kate Spade or if they have anything else, okay? I'm not gonna overpay this time because we got that Matt and Nat wallet, not wallet, the bag. I thought I liked it and then I was like, mm. I use it after a while, I was like, it's fine, I like it, but I personally don't want to. <sighs> Anyway, okay, I better stop talking and start filming. Okay, we're off to Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet, here we come. Plato's Closet, here we come. I want stuff from you. Plato's Closet, here we come. It is there, I see it. You want to get it? Where's it ready? Yeah, we're going to get it. What's up? We'll <laughs> grab this. We'll see what else we get after. Kate's made wallet that we saw. Oh, that's a cute little. Oh, they have a Lulu, I think. This is kind of cute. This is hella cute. The only thing, I don't know if we like this strap. I don't know if you like that. We'll still look around. I kind of want to get something else because I don't want to just use one, like one of my 20% off coupons on just one thing, you know? Oh, this is so Stella McCartney. Mm -hmm. This is kind of 
see what brand is this. I don't even know. Oh, backpack. That's all it says. Someone said that they wanted me to show me going through each individual bags. I thought that maybe you guys would find that boring, so I haven't. But I guess now I will. For your viewing pleasure. Mm, this is cute, but not for $70. No bueno. I wish we would find more Rebecca Minkoff here. Oh, this is juicy and it's 20. That's not bad. I don't know. At least what we came for is here, right? still have that Michael Kors bag that was here last time. <clears throat> oh, we have this juicy. Whatever that is. What is this? Steve Madden. No, I, I guess it's sold because it's not here. Well, unless it's up here. Victoria's Secret. No. Oh, here it is. Oh, 100. It's still 100. I want to get this for 100. I don't even know if it would sell. It's not really much wear on the handles like you see here. Let's go over this, okay? Um, like when you're getting like a bag, you need to look at these areas. These areas where it connects. You don't make you want to make sure there's no separating or um hairs in there but see that's this kind of thing is annoying to me like that like it's not I don't know I think that's a cracking of the glazing really? just because there's like a there's like a sewed part here so the, the glazing is cracked not the actual leather itself but the corners are good I just don't know no. It's cute though. Yeah. Uh, I'll set this one. Alrighty. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're coming out of Plato's. Um, very friendly sales associate today. Very friendly. <laughs> so we got uh, the Kate Spade wallet. I need to unlock my car. <sighs> there was this really cute Asian, I think he was Filipino, guy there. Like I didn't I couldn't get footage because I mean I wasn't gonna I wasn't in the mood to stalk hog guys today, but actually I wish I kind of showed you guys because he was like he's not like your typical Filipino guy. He's like tall and he, he's like um built, like he has like a man body, you know, because you know. Like, not to sound racist, but some Asians just look demure. Like, even if you're a man, you kind of look demure and, like, petite, you know? So, but he was, like, a man, right? <laughs> like, a galloping man. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to show you the wallet. Here it is. Kate Spade. Pink and orange. Every time I see the color combo pink and orange, it reminds me of Beyonce, Crazy in Love, last scene of the music video where she's, like, dancing, dancing, dancing. It's orange, and then, bam, she turns around, and it's, like, pink, you know? <laughs> Every time I see that color combo, it brings me back to her 2003 music video, Crazy in Love. Um, but yeah, I like it because it's just a snap closure, and I think it's brand new. There's like no wear whatsoever. It doesn't even look like it's been used, and it has like the care tag. It's called the Stacy Cobble Hill. Call it. Right there. 
But to be honest, like Kate Spade is having a sale right now online. And actually, who was it that told me? Was it Josh or was it, who was that? I can't remember. There's like so many guys I talked to. No, they're not potentials. They can't be because they just can't be. <laughs> well, they could be my best friend. Anyway, um, I can't remember who, was, who it was. Who was it? Anyway, someone on Snapchat, I'm sorry I forgot your name. I'm, I'm just... It must feel you, okay? <laughs> and uh, he told me that Kate Spade was having like 3% cash back on Ebates plus 75% off. And they had a lot of nice shit. Anyway, what I was trying to get at was their wallets were on sale for like $59, $49, but that's American dollars plus tax. So this is still a good deal because I paid basically $45, including tax. Plus I got a 20% off coupon for next time. And I was going to buy some things off of Kate Spade website and resell it, but... I ordered, well, I put in my cart two wallets like this, actually, the snap closure wallets, two bags, top handle, kind of like in the shape of a Celine mini luggage, but a little bit bigger with the crossbody strap. And it came up to $360 American and uh, free shipping. But I mean, $360 American is about $440, give or take, maybe $450 Canadian. So if it's $450 Canadian, I would need to sell like the bags almost like at full price and it's that's not it's it's not worth it and i'm not really in the market to buy a kate spade bag to use so you know i mean i do see kate spade bags online for like 200 220 250 but i highly doubt that they're going so i'm gonna find someone to pay that i mean i would probably sell the bags 140 a piece so that's like two 280 the wallets at 180 dollars to 100 dollars a piece so it's I would just basically break even it's not even worth it you know it's too bad it wasn't a better sale I'm really gonna I'm gonna try my luck in Minneapolis at the outlet mall maybe because I know they I think they have a Kate Spade there but I know they have a Michael Kors there and a coach so we're gonna see if we find anything to resell I did last time I was in Minneapolis I did resell some coach things I got for really cheap I think they were like $59 $50 American so back then I think the the conversion rate was like around 60 65 70 and I sold them for like a hundred dollars a piece so anyway that's the wallet cute as fuck what are you KGB that sounds like a freaking Russian gang or something Cornell, never heard of that brand. <sighs> Nope, that's not Rebecca Minkoff. Certainly is not. here like it's actually kind of sad don't see anything cute look at that hideosity <laughs> el nada el nada el I don't know. Actually, I was kind of thinking of not getting this. It just there's a lot of wear on it. So after my discount, ooh, this is cute. Seven eight nine. Mm -hmm. Like after my discount, <clears throat> it would be about 
So $19.99 minus 30%. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like $15, $17? And then, yeah, so it would be like $17 after taxes. And then I don't know if we could resell it for more than that. Like, I can probably get 27 27 sorry. <laughs> I can probably get like 20 I don't know. I don't know. This is cute. It is hella cute, actually. And for $14.99? Oh, shit, I thought someone was behind me. This is really cute. I don't know if I can flip it, though. Sean, I flip it? That is a snazzy-looking jacket. Nah, I better not risk it. Better not risk it. Why am I even in the jacket section anyway? I don't know, do we want this? Will it sell? No comment. What the heck is this? What does it do? I don't know what that does. It's not like dirty, but we can like totally wash it in the in the washing machine. I hope it doesn't break though. Is it worth using my 30% off of it though? Probably not. Yeah, we're gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it back here. Someone can put it back. <laughs> mm, nice dark, dark man. Okay, no luck here today. Okay guys, we're walking out empty-handed today, which is fine. Kind of expected it. I mean, they just had a huge sale, two huge sales the past couple of days. The pre-sale and then the actual sale, which was all picked over anyways. <laughs> anyway, I guess we just got the Kate Spade wallet for today and that's that. I wanna go to Pita Pit or do I want to go to Jollibee? I don't even know. I haven't had Jollibee since Vegas 2015, so it's been like a long time. Um, I kind of want to get something healthy like at Pita Pit, so I think we're going to go there. Yeah, just get something veggie probably. Something veggie. <laughs> uh, maybe like the, the ball thingy, what do you call it? The... Oh, and I know, I know it's Nancy's favorite. What is, what is it called? The... The balls, like the Greek balls. <laughs> anyway, guys. falafel with a little bit of barbecue sauce and mayo from pita pit so good and vegetarian actually no it's not yeah it's vegetarian there's cheese it's not vegan <laughs> mm. when you eat something healthy and fresh there's just something about it that makes you feel good maybe that's why I need to nourish my body with fresh shit. Because putting things in your body 
whether it's mental or physical, is really important. Like, bad food could be like bad guys. They're toxic for you. They'll freaking give you some disease <laughs> in more ways than one. So if you put bad things in your body, like junk food and fast food and fat food and chemical food constantly, you're going to f*** yourself up, okay? The way with guys, if you, ooh, who the, holy shit, that guy was hot. Frickin', I couldn't even get my camera to show you guys. Oh, okay, I'm going to give you a picture, okay? Envision, who are we envisioning? Like a male model, but buff, not too buff but, you know, buff enough, like a swimmer's build. He had coiffed hair with headphones on, a, a dark gray tank top that looks like something you would work out in. Lululemon, definitely. And, like, yoga pants, but not, like, in, not in, like, a, in a, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, like, the yoga pants look hot, and he was wearing, like, Yeezys. I'm not even kidding. And probably beat, beat Spy Dre headphones. <laughs> okay, what were we talking about? Okay. I get so distracted with hot guys all the time, as you know by now. Like, literally, when I see, I don't, I don't even need to see them. In my peripheral vision, they just need to have an outline of what I think is hot that's pre-programmed in my head. And it's like, whoop, automatically, it's like hot. <laughs> and I'm always right about that, usually. Okay, so what we were talking about was, so if you put bad things in your body, you're going to fuck your body up, right? So if you put, if you allow someone, it's not even just relationship-wise, but even like family-wise, friend-wise, co-worker-wise, anything-wise, where it's like a person in your life poisoning your brain with toxicity, that's like, that's, I speak from, I speak from experience where someone can poison your mind and just cause you physical pain because of what they're doing is effing you up severely, you know? So you don't want to be subjected to that kind of stuff. And I'm guilty of that. I'm still guilty of that where I allow people in my life that shouldn't be in my life. And sometimes their shit affects me and what I put out into the world, you know? They're, being, they're causing me pain so I'm like not being a positive person in the world. And that's just effed up. You don't want that at all. Mm. Is it weird? Eating this is making me like happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, spinach. Oh, alpha alpha sprouts. Oh, cucumber. Oh, green pepper. Oh. <laughs> Nourish my body. Trust me, it's a big body that needs to be nourished. I wish I could eat this every day, but it's way too expensive. Like for one small patita, it's like $8, I think, or something like that. Expensive as fuck. That looked bad on the viewfinder. <laughs> Did I park this bitch? Okay. Ah! Totally fell. No! My cheesecake! My cheesecake can't fall! It doesn't look pretty anymore. Why did I just do that when I could have just gotten out of the car? <sighs> How am I doing this? Oh god! I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh! Cheesecake, are you okay? Oh! What? I'm like contorting my body. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I can't finish eating this shit. Sorry, not shit. Good shit. Just eat it, eat 
Oh my god, that lady's looking at me in the window. Mmm. <laughs> There's something about skinny bitches that eat in the car that kind of not, not turns me on, but intrigues me. It's like, skinny bitch eating in her car. <laughs> that was fulfilling. Mmm. Okay, let's go.